so uh, we have Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading January 6th to January 12th, uh, 2020. And in case, guys, you want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check out uh, the description down below, and there you're going to find a, a link to my website. So uh, that being said, moving into uh, the Taurus reading here for the week, love and relationship. Now, the first card, which stands for the topic of uh, your week here, Taurus is, that is to be, or Taurus, that is to be the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which stands as the energies that are supporting um, the topic, that will be the strength card. Uh, then what we do have, it is uh, the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. We do have the moon. Uh, afterwards, it is the fourth card pointing to the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That will be the eight of wands. Afterwards, what we have, it is how people see you, uh, how your friends and family sees you, how your person of interest sees you, partner, wife, husband. That is going to be the ten of pentacles. Afterwards, we do have what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Then the, uh, the Seven card, it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the Nine of Cups. And the last one, it is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering to you. We do have the Temperance. So I'm going to need a, a minute here, guys. Everything made sense until we had the Nine of Cups into what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. My God. So <clears throat> we do have one of those kind of a situations where there is a, a very thin line in between the the uh, the the right and the wrong, the good and the bad. So I'll try to elaborate as much as I can here and you kind of get what I'm trying to say. Uh, first of all, we do have these two, the topic and the energy supporting the topic. So we do have a person that you had something to do together back in the days or you are together right now i don't know it, it will be a different situation for every single one of you but the thing with this person it is that they still think that things can work out in between you two so you alone kind of can see that that could strongly suggest as a reconciliation all right i mean you know an ex still believes that there is a potential for both of you. This is about the Queen of Pentacles. That is what, what the Queen of Pentacles do. It tries to make sure that everything reaches its full potential, that it's trying to find a opportunity or possibilities, not even possibilities, potential heretofore unexplored into something that is still in motion. So you know, that could be your current relationship or a, or a relationship that ended up abruptly. Uh, additionally to that, the energy supporting that, it only adds a um, convincing or it's kind of like conviction into this Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, it is totally convinced that there is still what to be achieved in between you two, all right? There is still what to work on. There is still a lot of potential potential in there. And the energies alone are pointing that no one in this earth is capable to reverse that opinion. No matter what anybody else says, that, that it's kind of like it's just that, that queen does not pay attention to it at all. The, the other thing with the queen of pentacles as an individual, it is that they like to consolidate. What I mean is that once um, something become theirs, they are very um, protective over it to a point where they can become obsessive over it as well. But also the strength card here as a uh, energy kind of points that there are to be a lot of passion as well. So it's kind of like this person is going to be uh, more how can i say it it's not the word is not aggressive more initiative than uh, uh than usual 
and we'll try to show you their intentions with uh, actions rather than with words. The other card here it is what, um, what is going to be the challenge for you and it's pretty obvious with the moon card to believe that that really can happen <clears throat> because the situation itself uh, the, the thing with this situation it is that even though that person comes around they does not even give you any idea how far they are willing to go for them the whole endeavor ends up as the reconciliation takes place or the uh what was i about to say um or the consolidations takes place but that is just the particular milestone what follows next that person queen of pentacles cannot really say because they don't have any idea either so it's, it will be difficult for you to believe that this whatever you can have with the queen of pentacles actually can grow further than that because you know everybody wants their relationship to grow and the problem is it is that this person does not give you any promises about growing for just to give you an example of it guys you know you reconciliate with your ex but they doesn't give you any kind of clue that they want to marry you that they want children so on and so forth for them the reconciliation is job done and they don't have any plans whatsoever for the future of it and that will be the issue for you a big one that is is there any future for both of you now the um the moon card here points as well that there are to be a lot of speculations drama talks behind one's back and that is kind of understandable as well with the strength card and the queen of pentacles like said um, <clears throat> no one will be able to reverse the opinion of the queen of pentacles of the person that stands next to you or in front of you but that doesn't mean that people cannot reverse your opinion so that will be challenging as well and finally at the end of the day you need to know with the moon card that whatever it is to happen in between you two has to happen. If you do not in if you don't allow them to take place next to you, they will bounce back further into the future with these cards. Okay. Somewhere in a year or two, in 10 years, you again are gonna have to kind of like fulfill certain destiny, if you will. The other card here represents uh, the gifts and the blessings that you are going to enjoy in terms of love and relationship. The Eight of Wands, it's a pretty dynamic card. It does point to a, a lot of enterprises, a lot of exhilarating moments, probably in between you and this person, Queen of Pentacles, that comes around here. Uh, Queen of Pentacles may not be a woman. It could be a man as well. Queen of Pentacles is just an archetype of a person. It's not a person defined by sex, all right? But um, eight, of, eight of Wands does express that there are to be numerous opportunities for you and that person as well, you know, to display their um, intentions, their aims, their goals, and to also form circumstances because that's a, a big problem with the Moon card as a challenge, that the circumstances are not going to be formed completely and with the gift of the eight of wands it does look like that you have a, a big chance to form the circumstances exactly as you want them one thing here as well pretty good about the eight of wands is that the eight of wands is high risk high reward kind of a card and as a, a gift and blessing it does look like that it's going to be just a high reward kind of card but uh, in a love and relationship narrative of a, of a reading the Eight of Wands is also a, about resolving disagreements, resolving um, different points of views through the agility of one's mind, through the adaptability of one's mind. So what I'm trying to say here is that whatever drifted you apart back in the days, whatever, you know, disagreement, whatever differences you had, definitely you can polish those differences throughout this week, January 6th to January 12th. 2020 so how people are going to see you we do have the ten of pentacles now ten of pentacles it is the card especially in terms of love and relationship that says you know um once when someone uh betrayed your trust they are gonna try to earn it once again so this is how people see you as a a person 
debating or rather like contemplating is it right to give a second chance or is it not right either way what I'm trying to say is that there is no right or wrong answer because the Ten of Pentacles also it is a card showing out of dependency, especially love and relationship, meaning that even if you don't allow that person to take place next to you, you ain't gonna miss them. And that's the sad part in it. That's why there is such a thin line in between the right and the wrong. Uh, I could say almost with certainty that there is no right or wrong decision in this particular case. It's all about a personal preference. So people are going to see you sitting in a, in a very cozy and comfortable place, torturing that poor soul because they want to get back into your life. But do you have room for them? That is the question here because definitely with this card of how people see you, you don't have much of a need for them as well, right? So it's all about a personal preference once again. So the other card here, it is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship go, and that is the Seven of Pentacles. So once again, this is a card of uh, an idea undefinity I would say it is because the card urges you to think carefully how much you are willing to invest into this endeavor if you do allow that endeavor to um, to take place in between you and the Queen of Pentacles archetype uh, seven of Pentacles never promise results it actually urges one to uh, think very carefully is it worth it or is it not worth it? Am I not going to give more than, uh, than I'm going to get from the whole thing? Because the goal of the Seven of Pentacles is always equilibrium. So what you can do here, I mean, there is a recipe for it. I mean, how to uh, overcome the Seven of Pentacles. And that is by putting uh, that person on trial, right? Try them to see how devoted or how willing they are, how much they want that thing to happen, okay? Because one thing is for them to say something, other thing is to make them. If they uh, fulfill their promises, then that's great. That means that they really want it and they deserve a place. If they don't do that, well, then it's pretty obvious. Uh, the next card here it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal, and that is moving in it without trying the person, okay, without or dealing that person. Why? It is because for two reasons. One, it is that you may do the wrong move here, you know, allowing that person to come into your life while they have not taken any note whatsoever from their previous wrongdoing. And the second one is even if they have taken certain notes from their previous wrongdoing, you not putting a trial in front of them, it means that you don't care, all right? It's just, you know, you want them more than you care that they can do something wrong to you. And therefore, all those notes, all those experiences, gone, wasted. And there will still be those kind of people that you have de departed from back from the days. And the final card, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Temperance card. So Temperance, temperance card really here urges you to uh, find yourself the strength to forgive and to give a second chance because the, uh, the Temperance card, it is a, about compassion and solidarity, but it is also about finding the right way, okay? Uh, the balanced Way. So if that person isn't balanced, what I mean is that he is way too extreme, for example, stalking you, bruising themselves over you, trying to consume all of your time, that's not good. Not showing initiative at all, that's not good either. So you, that is the guidance here that you need to have them in a very balanced position. I don't know how to describe it to they to take a certain portion of your life as that portion allows them to fit in instead of consuming the entirety of your life. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, January 6th to uh, January 12th. 
2020. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you do want to get in touch with me for a private reading, you can check the description down below and there you're going to find my the link to my website. And uh, we're going to see each other around, I hope. Until then, bye.